So 19.71. Uh, we have, did they write the reaction a particular way? Was it liquid going to gas? Oh yes, vapor pressure. Sure, so that's what we, we use. <laughs> yeah, if it's liquid, mercury liquid going to mercury gas, you'd write it like this. Uh, and then, if you want to know the vapor pressure. Oh, sorry. Okay. okay. Vapor pressure at 25 degrees C? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, I'll kind of do the problem backwards, and it'll make a lot of sense, I think. So, I would say, oh, let's write K. K, and because we're dealing with pressure, let's do Kp. It's products over reactants, that's the partial pressure of mercury. So let's find K at equilibrium. Oh, well, K, I have an equation for K. that one. Oh, can I find delta G? What's that K? Is that KC? It's whatever K you're interested in. Really? Yeah, okay. that's how the problems are usually set up. And you'll notice in 2B and 2C, uh, we typically set it up to either be a KP problem or a KSP. I don't know why it happens to be those. But yeah, it is set up usually to be the K you want it to be. Yeah. So you don't have to worry about it. I think probably in 2C they'll talk about that more because it becomes more of an issue. But here, just go with, roll with it, whatever K you're interested in. Okay. So really it's a KEQ here, which is the over the K, umbrella K for all Ks. All right. So we know if we can find, we know the vapor pressure is this. If we can find K, we're set. We have this equation. We know the temperature, we know R, so we just need delta G. So I would just, kind of how you did the previous problem, I would go delta G uh, formation of the mercury uh, liquid. Oh no, that's the, I need the products first. Products, yeah, gas minus delta G of the formation of mercury, uh, let's see, in the reactants were a liquid. That would equal delta G standard. You solve for K, and that is equal to the partial pressure. So it's really common in these types of problems, and I mean chapter 18 types of problems, where we ask you about something in K, meaning it's a partial pressure. And typically, often you'll see some of the reactions are super simple. They're like this or something like that. So you're like, oh, I need a partial pressure. Let me, you should think, I'm going to write down K. And see, and once you write down K, you're like, oh. <laughs> once I get the K, I know the partial pressure, so I just need to find delta G at this point. And, and that's a, actually a pretty common type of problem. Is that all right now? Yeah, so that's all you need to do.